Jada! It's my boss day! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and we have a special shrimp em today because it's my birthday! Yeah! 6 30th anniversary of Joe Crew DMD's existence on the planet Earth. It is my birthday. Yes, it's true. And I have a very special shrimp em for you and for me, really. But it's a draft box one. We got draft box one. It is the first draft box of the Dragon Ball Super card game. It's got Galactic Battle and Union Force packs inside, 12 of each, plus four copies of some really awesome shiny looking leader and a tournament pack one inside this box. We're gonna open it up as a special celebration of my birthday. Look how shiny and gorgeous and beautiful it is and the wonderful art. And after, at the very end, we have a very special extra Shrip them the box, a gift from Bobby. Yes, last week we had a crazy box. It was the most busted box and we had to call the pack police. So we gave Bobby a call. He responded immediately and he gave us this amazing gift. It's this mysterious box. I have no idea what is inside the box, but all he told me was that he hasn't picked up a pencil in 10 years. And he gave me this box. He told me, you know what, Joku, since it's gonna be your birthday soon, might as well strip him on your birthday. So at the end of the video, we're gonna open up this box from the pack police Bobby who came to save us from the busted box. If this is your guys' first time here and you wanna see shrimpums every week and you're like, oh, oh my God though, I cut the Joku DMD on his boss day, make sure to smush that subscription button because we're gonna be shrimping every single week. And if you're a returning member of the Joe crew, thank you for your continued support. Now let's look at this draft box one and this sh 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 shrimp em. All right, here we go. This is it. This is draft box one in this beautiful uh, plastic encasing. Of course, we have our dragon's knife to sh slice them here and shrimp them the box. What is it going to be inside this box? Shrimp them. Now these boxes are some pretty hot cash. Fortunately, I picked some up on Walmart when they were still sixty dollars. And now I have them and I figured it's time to strip them since they're so value. And what is the leader gonna be? It is, yo, the Goku, yes, Joku, Goku. This one goes out to my boys, B-O-Y-Z-E. What a great looking card. I think these will be nice graded as well. And we got our tournament pack. We'll open those at the end. Now, in this draft box, you get 12 packs of Galactic Battle and 12 packs of Union Force. But before we look at those packs, we gotta take a look at this beautiful box. Let's check out the art on this thing. Look at this, we got the Sun family here. On the front, there's Vegito and Gotenks. Broly from set one leader on the side. Gohan, Goku, Vegeta, Trunks on the back. We got Cell Fuse Zamasu Rose, Frieza, Golden Frieza, and Boo, Majin Boo. And on the box, of course, the beautiful Dragon Ball Super Card Game. Best card game ever made. And when you open it, you even get some art in here. Vegito and Zamasu, what about, look at that, the explosion of the red explosion. Boo. In set one and set two, there were very low SPR drop rates. There was four SPRs per case. So it's unlikely that we'll see SPRs. There was one SCR in Galactic Battle, very low drop rates as well. But regardless, these cards Cards look great and i think it's about time that we strip them some packs boss day of course we got to do a double blessing here i'm going right off the top ho trunks and goku be bless them your packs be true the bless them the two of the double pack bless them to you and now it's strip them time now the set one strip them nubs were moved farther in so it's a very different strip them experience here and of course, we're just gonna go to what's, oh, yo, lightning fast hit an SR out of the first pack. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And I'm gonna alternate Union Force and Galactic Battle. What do we get here? It is, ah, oh, yeah, Determined Striker, SSB Son Goku. Now this was reprinted and we got a Shatter Foil reprint. So I like to have the Wave Foils. This is a counter attack. This is a counter attack and it gets played. And it's a 20K Son Goku. So it has some other uses that could possibly be valuable. Wow, look at this weirdly played strip of nub. What a, what an experience and oh god charge vegeta the ssb goku right into the ssb vegeta what a sequence it must be my boss day <laughs> and what we have here it is evolving life form cell now this is a good card if cell chain ever gets unbanned this card will be valuable but i'm sure they'll reprint it but it's always nice to have you know a set one version here oh we just did a union force we got to do a galactic battle here with a strangely placed shrimp of nub 
And what do we have here? It is Weiss. This card's good. I've never seen it played. I don't know if it ever was really played, but it's a 12 cost card. It's got quadruple strike. And then you take another turn after. It's kind of crazy. So if there's ever a way to cheat this out a little faster, this card would be really, really good. Our Union Force Cell. Shrip of the pack. What can we find? Will it be a secret? Oh, SR Jiren, Fist of Justice. Jiren coming in hot with that gold foil. You know, the printing technology was not as advanced as it is, but these cards still look so dang good. And that's two SRs that we've pulled already. What a weird tripping experience with this nub here. And this is gonna be a leader. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I feel like these leaders are gonna be collector's items. So I'm gonna keep some of them in sleeves since I know they're in great condition since I just pulled them. And that man is gonna stay in a sleeve. I love this art. This Trunks art is so cool. The leader's so rad. I just wish it came in foil. It didn't come in foil. I wish that was different. And ooh, Ghost Attack, Super Saiyan 3, Go Tanks. The wave foils were awesome. I'm so glad they brought wave foil back and I really enjoy how much they improved the quality of the wave foil itself. Shrip them. What can we find in here? It is Beerus, General of Demolition. This card's actually really good too. The thing is there aren't many ways to play these cards sooner, but if these cards ever got a faster route to play, they're still very powerful cards, even though they were made almost 14 sets ago now, not counting all the intermediate sets in between. Overpowering King Cold. This guy's pretty interesting. You have to pay four for him no matter what, but as always, any of these cards, if there's ways to cheat them out, they would be uh, another King Cold. Back to back King Cold. Maybe I should be playing King Cold, but the yellow support, so it wouldn't work in the new green stuff. Ooh, piercing Super Saiyan Sun Gohan. SS2 Sun Gohan with that fist just coming in. You know, I, this Gohan needs a little bit more love. I'm hoping that uh, he'll either get a secret rare in an upcoming set or he'll get some more support in this outfit. I do like him in the outfit of the Bojack movie. I gotta say, that is really, I do really like him in Goku's outfit. So I can't say that I dislike what they did there. This is gonna be a leader. So you can see, and I think it is the Broly leader. Yeah, Broly leader. This is gonna get in a sleeve as well. I feel like getting some of these graded. Leaders are really cool to get graded because you see the back on the slab. So when you turn the slabs around, you see the front and you see the back. And it's really cool to be able to appreciate both sides of the leader. Oh, absolute God fused Zamasu. Really amazing leader art. I love these leader cards. I love these leader cards in the old set, the wave foil just looks so good. They were really starting to develop their style with the way that they were printing these and the way they're doing the foiling. And they did an amazing job back then and they continue to do an amazing job now so just really really exciting beautiful beautiful cards inherited will super saiyan sun goku wave foil the parallel foil with the foil coming through in his eyebrow what a great look this, this extended strip of up gets me every time there's nothing i can do to avoid how crazy that feels Ooh, full power frieza this got a reprint as well i think wow they even put the explanation of triple strike after the skill that's how all these packs are. That's how all these cards are. Old packs from the first two sets of Dragon Ball. Whoa, Grand Evil Absorption Majin Buu. That is a good looking card. Wow. There is a chain. I believe you can get this card out faster. And I don't remember exactly how you do it, but I believe you can cheat this out. And it is a powerful, powerful card because it can swing in cards in active mode, which is really nice. And it's dual attack. Our next Galactic Battle, Shrip them. What are we gonna find here? It is, yo, Awakening Rage Son Goku. Now, I think this card is actually gonna be a really good collector's item. This was one of the, this this was a uh, the same art as what we saw on the IC Cardass, the original series that this is based on. So it's really nice to pull one of these. This is exciting. I'm definitely gonna get this in a sleeve and I think this is going to be graded. Very nice. Let's take a look at the back actually here. A lot of these cards had whitening on the back and there is really no whitening. Maybe a little spot, no, that was just dust. That looks uh, pretty good. Pretty dang good. Heck yeah. Nice pull. Shrip them. Couple more Union Force shrip -ems here in the draft box. And we got a Lightning Speed Vegito Rare. Very shiny, very wavy, very foily. Our Frieza Pack Art Galactic Battle with the Distant trip them up, and we got a 
and we got a Frieza leader here. Look at that gorgeous looking leader. Definitely gonna keep this one too. Now this leader actually is somewhat viable. There are builds that still make this work. He's like the opposite Soul Striker and he's just a good, good card. All right, our last Union for Shrippa before the Bless in the pack. We got a leader here as we can as well. We can see this is the Cell, Ultimate Life Form Cell. Very, very nice to pull. Great looking card, great leader. Not anymore, but was. And our last galactic battle before the bless in the packs. What are we gonna pull here? It is Bewitching God Vados. And of course, now our blessums, double blessum for the birthday blessum, six, six birthday experience. What can we find here? You can put the six and the six there and that's my boss day. So uh, I think we should do the union for shrimp them first. Bless them to shrimp them. And what will we find at the back of the packet is, yo, the infinite force meta cooler. Good looking card. The SPR of this card looks weird, but I mean, you know, it is an SPR, that card. And I think they're pretty cheap also. And finally, our galactic battle bless him. Oh, Goku, Joku, what can it be? My birthday bless him for the final shrimp him of the draft box birthday. Crack in the pack. And it is a bewitching god Vados. Two in a row. All right, so we got these leader cards. Let's strip these leader cards because these look rad. I definitely want to put these in uh, some slabs one day. I don't know when, how, or where it. I don't know exactly when or how it's gonna be done. A lot of places are closing for receiving orders. These are really good looking foils on here. You can see the texture pattern in that they laid down on these cards. It's just really awesome looking. Let's get these each in sleeves. Probably be sending these to BGS and I'll see them sometime next year, I guess, is when they'll come in. But they're all in good condition because they just got pulled out from the pack. So. It should be, you know, it's possible that if the centering is really good, it's possible to get a black label on one of these, I would say. And our last Shrippum is our tournament pack here for the birthday Shrippum. And what is it gonna be inside of here? It is a Proud Spark Vados non-foil, Rip Dipkin. Anyway, guys, that's been the birthday Shrippum. Thank you for coming by and watching my birthday Shrippum. I had a blast stripping this draft box one with you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. I am a dentist, I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. What I'm gonna to explain to you guys today is how the decay process happens. So basically, you gotta eat food to stay alive. When you eat food, that food sticks to your teeth. The food attracts bacteria and the bacteria digest the food and create acid. That acid breaks down your tooth structure and the breakdown of the tooth structure allows for bacteria to get into your tooth and have a party and create more acid and break down the tooth structure and create a cavity. That's when you need to get your tooth filled and you don't necessarily feel that. So just because your teeth don't hurt doesn't mean they don't need medical attention to be treated in a way where they can stop progressing the disease process. That's been the dental tooth tip. And I can't end my birthday episode without doing the Bobby box break for the pack police. He brought it to me. This is what I have. This is the box. And I am going to open it here because it's too big for the Shrippum camera. And this is a box with stuff inside. And I'm just gonna keep it this way so you guys can, oh my. Oh my god though. Oh my god though. Yo sha yo. That is insane, dude. What? Oh my god though. Wow. Holy hexagon, dude. Bobby, thank you. This is the nicest dude. This is Okay, he so he told me he hasn't picked up a pencil in 10 years. And this is what I find in the box. A couple weeks ago he asked me who my favorite Dragon Ball characters were, and then he asked me for a picture of my Joku avatar. And then look what I pull out of this magical box for my birthday. Wow, Bobby, thank you, dude. This is an amazing birthday present. And this this will this will turn into more. This is not, this will continue to live and this will enter new lives and hopefully you guys will see it on the channel in time. I gotta do, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make this part of the show. Thank you, Bobby. I really appreciate it. If I could be a creative inspiration to anybody, it's an absolute honor and a completely flattering and it, 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 I take great pride in being able to help people pursue their creative dreams. Thank you for taking the time to make this art for me and share it with me. I would say this is my first fan art, so thank you for the fan art. I will represent it with pride for the Joku Shoku. Thank you guys for coming by. Thank you, Bobby, for the Baste present, and I will see you guys next time.